And this critical moment of our nation's history, it's essential that there is an educating, an educator serving as Secretary of Education. I want to make that clear again. An educator, someone who's taught in the classroom, comes out of the classroom. Today, I'm pleased to announce that such a nominee we have, Dr. Miguel Cardona. Like uh, other cabinet nominees and appointees, he's brilliant, he's qualified, and he's tested. Already, there are more people of color in this cabinet than any cabinet. Reopening schools safely will be a national priority for the Biden-Harris administration. Early next year, I will put forward before the Congress our plan as to what comes next. But I assure you, it includes funding to keep educators on the job, just like we did during the Recovery Act and save 400,000 education jobs and the future of millions of children. It also includes asking Congress to provide funding needed so we can achieve the ambitious but doable goal of safely opening the majority of our schools by the end of our first 100 days. Next year, I will put forward before the Congress our We can do it if we get school, schools, districts, communities, and states the clear guidance and the resources they need for so many things that aren't in their already tight budgets. The Secretary, who truly understands what uh, was, but to lead the national effort requires an education sector, uh, Secretary, excuse me, with the skills to partner with educators across the country, in states, localities, and tribal nations, and, and all, all across students and families as well. It also requires someone who understands the need to prevent the pandemic from further exacerbating the inequities in our education system that represent, it represents a compounding problem we're having. As we can achieve all these critical things. That's the vision. Resolve and initiative are all going to help us contain this pandemic and reopen our schools safely and build back better. And it's a standard of care that comes from having taught in a classroom. That comes from a hardworking family who found their way in America through public education. It comes from someone who knows from his core that our nation's children are the kite strings that lift our national ambitions aloft. He is a secretary of education for this moment. Not giving, not giving the respect it deserves. I know how challenging this year has been for students, for educators, and for parents. I've lived those challenges alongside millions of American families, not only in my role as state education commissioner, but as a public school parent and as a former public school classroom teacher. For so many of our schools and far too many of our students, this unprecedented year has piled on crisis after crisis. It's taken some of our most painful, long-standing disparities and wrenched them open even wider. I look forward to getting to work on behalf of America. And I, being bilingual and bicultural, am as American as apple pie and rice and beans. For me, education was the great equalizer. But for too many students, your zip code and your skin color remain the best predictor of the opportunities you'll have in your lifetime. 